Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. I haven't done a sit down video uh, in a while. So I thought today I'm going to be doing some errands. So why not do a wear test and a review of the new Huda Beauty uh, Glowish powder and the, the blush that she came out with. A few months back she came up with a liquid illuminating uh, foundation sort of skin tint and now she's here with a luminous powder foundation and also can be used as an all over powder. So we're going to be testing this out today. The whole idea behind this brand I feel is to have a more cruelty free sustainable um, products that are available to us. This is the type of product that I usually gravitate towards now and I'm moving away from a lot of uh, products that have fillers and parabens and that really can irritate the skin so I'm really glad that Huda came out with a cruelty free version. What I really appreciate about this campaign is that the photos of the models are untouched so they're not retouched, they're not airbrushed and meanwhile the Huda Beauty brand is all about retouching and airbrushed and you know flawless looking skin and I'm so glad that she took this direction which is completely opposite um, and I really wish that a lot of brands will now follow. I wish this was a thing um, you know back in the day because realistically we don't look like that on a daily basis the models in this campaign are absolutely gorgeous even without the retouching so I really wish that going forward we will see a lot more of this from a lot more well-known bigger brands so with that being said um, let's dive right in to the wear test I'm going to show you how I would apply this product on a day-to-day -day basis I exfoliate my skin and use basic skin care so this is what I use to prep my skin today I'm not going to be using a primer because that's just not what I use on a daily basis and this this type of product seems to be something that's on the go and something that's going to be quick for the average everyday person. I have two shades here. One is five, which is medium, and the other one is seven, which is tan light, I think. For today, I'm going to go with tan seven, uh, sorry, tan light, because I just, I think it would just match my skin a little bit better. I do have a little bit of a tan going on. I'm going to be using a damp sponge. Uh, I don't have the Huda Beauty sponge that she uses, the black one, but I do have this one from e.l.f. and it does have a flat side. And I'm using a damp, but it's not completely wet. I wouldn't really go in with a really wet sponge for this one only because it's a pressed powder and it might leave like stain or watermark in here and it might harden the product. So that's not good for the product itself. I have a decent amount picked up on my sponge. I'm going to swipe it. Many videos that I've seen where they've said that it's left like almost like an indentation, but we're going to try it for science. And I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit more so you guys can see this a little bit better. There we go. Oh, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but I can certainly tell this is like the perfect match because it's disappearing onto my skin and it is leaving a little bit of a glow. I don't know if the camera is doing a decent job in picking this up, but we're going to go with it and I'm just going to blend this out. Okay, let's try the other side. So as you guys can see, I've gotten a decent amount of glow going on over here on my forehead. And I have noticed that where the sponge does hit first, it does tend to sit there and it doesn't move. I wonder if I can smooth that out later with a brush, we'll try that. But I would say maybe don't load the sponge as much as I did and just go in gradually to build that up because you don't want product sitting um, in a certain spot and looking patchy. Uh, so far, it's blending out really, really well. The face is looking really glowy. If you see me in person, you'll notice more of the glow. It does have a little bit of iridescence to it. Um, and it's basically her glowish skin tint in powder form. I do like the shade match. I think for my tan skin, this has, you know, really matched my neck and it looks even all across. I'm already noticing that there is a lot of glow in the center where the light is hitting, where you would normally, let's say, apply highlighter. But everywhere else, it just seems as if it's blending into the skin just like normal powder. It's not reflecting, um, unless I turn to the side and then you can see, again, that cheek area, but nothing here. You can't see any shine here. So I actually like that about this product. I zoomed you guys in closer so you guys can see how this is looking on my skin. So far, so good. No dry patches. I have moisturized really, really well underneath, so I'm not getting any dry patches. I normally don't tend to. I am combo skin, so I will end up getting a little bit oilier throughout the day, usually on the T-zone. So we'll see how this wears um, and we'll go from there. So now let's move on to the blush. And for the blush, I only picked up one. I picked up the shade Berry Juicy. I just felt that this would complement my skin tone and many other skin tones. It's a little bit more neutral um, across the plane, so it's gonna go with pretty much everybody. They do have a um, darker version of this, which is more on the purple mauve side, and they have two others which are lighter than this, which is more of a coral, and the other one is like a pale peachy shade. So for the application, I'm gonna be using a brush on one side and a sponge on the other side just to see what that's like. So I'm just gonna swirl it in like this, and it's a very smooth powder. There is no kickback on the pan, as you can see, for the powder and this, which I really, really like.
And it is a beautiful berry tone shade. It's nothing overpowering. You can definitely layer this on. It blends right in with the powders and the skincare, so it's not sitting on top. And it just gives like a very subtle hint of glow. On the other side, I'm gonna go in with the sponge, the same sponge, and see how that goes. Hmm, I don't even think it picked anything up. Let's try again. Oh, maybe just very little. There we go. So there you guys can see how the sponge has applied. I think if you need a lighter application, the sponge is better because it tends to soak up a bit of the product. If you want to go in a little bit heavy, then use the brush. From what I can see here, both sides are layering up beautifully and the color is really, really pretty. I'm also going to be taking whatever's left on my brush and kind of like going over my nose because this area just needs a little bit more color. I also have the Huda Beauty bronzer, and so I'm just going to be lightly dusting this on my face as well. And for this, I just like to use a brush. These powders, again, they're very, very smooth. They don't have any kickback on the pan. The pigmentation is good, but it's like a medium pigmentation, so you can really build it up to your liking or intensity. I've just gone ahead and popped on some concealer. This is the Armis Beauty Uncover Up Concealer. Um, I should have probably done this before because it is a cream, but nonetheless, it just it still looks fine underneath the eyes. For my lips, I'm just using this shade from Huda Beauty. This is called Habibi. All right, guys, so I've just gone ahead and finished the eyes. Nothing too crazy. I popped on this mascara from Maybelline, the Sky High Mascara. This is in the shade Blackish Brown. Back to the glowish review. Uh, you can see that it's also accentuated at the same time some of these small, you know, minor bumps that I have. You guys can also see my fine lines and wrinkles that are being accentuated, again, based on just because of the luminosity that this product gives. Nothing that is a fault of the product. It's just what luminous products do to your face. So if you have a lot of texture on your skin, this product is just going to bring that out even forward. If you have large pores um, anywhere on your face, especially in the center, that is going to accentuate it even more. So just be mindful of those things. If you have that on your face, then let's then you might want to skip this altogether and stick to more mattifying, more skin-like products. The time right now is 7.01 a.m. and I am going to be pretty much running errands all day with this. I will try to do as many check-ins as possible and wear this for as long as possible. Uh, typically, a day for me is about seven to eight hours. So I will see you guys in a bit. Bye. All right, guys, so I am back home now. I did go out uh, for some errands and also for a walk. Um, so I just want to show you guys how my skin is looking. It's also a pretty sunny day outside. So obviously as I was walking, um, I got a little bit more oilier on the T-zone. I don't know if you can tell. I haven't blotted, I haven't touched up. So this is what my makeup is looking like. If I come closer or I zoom you guys in a little bit more, you guys can see that the blush is still on and the foundation is still looking beautiful. It has now meshed into my skin even more and is just looking like my skin. It doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't feel cakey um, or anything like that. It hasn't gone patchy or dry in airy areas and note that I did not put on any primer underneath or set it with the setting spray. So this is just as is with some skincare and just the makeup on top. I've had this on for about five and a half hours now. I forgot to tell you what time it is. It's about 12.33, so exactly about five and a half hours. I was wearing a mask when I was running around a bit, so as you can see, the mask hasn't affected any of the makeup. There's no lines or anything like that, so, so far, so good. I will check in with you guys maybe one more time, and that's going to be my final check-in and final thoughts, so we'll be right back. The time is now uh, 3.35, so I've had this on for a little over um, eight hours, so eight and a half hours, and as you guys can see from far away, it's looking great. More of my natural oils have come up, and the skin is looking really, really nice. It's looking fresh. It's dewy. It has, it's still on. Like, I can still see the blushes on. The foundation is still on. Um, I did end up making some lunch after and eating and then just did some household chores, so not too much of a heavy day. Overall, I still think that this has held up pretty well for an eight and a half hour uh, day. I'm gonna zoom you guys in just a little bit more so you guys can actually see my skin. So if you see my skin, there's a little bit over here like fading around the smile lines. It's gotten into the crevices, but overall though, you can see that it's held up on my skin very, very well. I think this side kind of faded a little bit because I was kind of like doing this at one point. Um, but other than that, it still held on well. I still see a little bit of sheen down here, so I know that the foundation didn't go anywhere. This is no touch-ups or anything throughout the day. Um, and it's still looking good on the forehead as well. So, so you guys can see that this is done really, really well. Really good, so let's zoom you guys out a little bit. So 
I know that I haven't spoken too much about the packaging and the shade range and all that. I, I find that, you know, there's tons of information flying around on YouTube. There's other YouTubers that have covered that. And it's also on the Sephora website. So that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for sticking around. Um, if you've made it this far, thank you so, so much for staying and subscribing and liking and commenting on all my videos. Um, I really do appreciate all the help and support. My channel really needs the help and support. Uh, I am very close to a thousand subscribers, so uh, I'm really excited. And my goal is to hit that before the end of 2021. So. Uh, please, if you're not subscribed, which I know that majority of you guys are not, um, but you still come back and view my video, so please do subscribe. It would help me out a ton. So with that being said, I hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!